Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can install Langgraph locally and then create an AI agent out of it. Langgraph is a Python library from Langchain. It is used for building complex scalable AI agents using graph-based states machine. So what happens is that you build multiple AI agents and then you just treat them as a node of a graph and you create a state machine and you just add those nodes to that state machine. The real meat here is creating the AI agents, which we will be looking at in this video. So let's get started. I will be using local models with Olama, Mistral to be specific, and I will be also using Tavily as my search engine. And Tavily is primarily a search engine which is optimized for AI agents and RLMs. If you don't have an account at Tavily, just sign up and you will get some free credit after you signed in. Also, this is Olama, which I will be using to use my local model, Mistral. If you don't know what Olama is, please search my channel. I already have done heaps of videos around it. So that's said and done. Let's now go to my local system and then we will first install this lang graph so this is my local system where i am running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 48 gpu vram a6000 you don't need that much um gpu vram but it's always good to have another cool shout out is to our friends at mast compute who have sponsored this virtual machine and this gpu card if you are looking to rent a GPU, they have pretty nice, decent uh, low rates. I will drop the link to their website um, plus a coupon, which is a discount coupon. If you would be renting the GPUs from them by using that coupon, you will get 50% discount and you will find it in the video's description. Okay, so let's go back to our terminal. Let me clear the screen. And now another thing I would highly recommend, it's not mandatory, but highly recommend to, is to have Conda installed. I already have this Conda version installed. If you don't know how to install it again, please cite the channel and you should be able to find the Conda installation video. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Let me also show you Olama list, which will show you that I already have Mistral installed. So that is all done. Now let's create our Conda virtual environment which will keep everything nice, clean and separate and it won't impact our local system. I'm just creating this Conda environment with the name of Langra. So let's wait for it to install. Just press Y here and that should be done in any second. There you go. So let's activate this Conda environment with Langra and you will see that it is activated here in parenthesis. Let's clear the screen and now you would need to set your Tavily API key here because we will be doing the web search with our agent. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm just going to create a simple agent which will do a web search with the help of a um, Mistral model and then we will give the results back to the user and of course you can create as many agents with it in Langchain and I already have done a few videos around it as how to create those agents. So you can create multiple agents and then knit them together. But for this one, we'll be just looking at how to create one agent, which should be more than enough. So let me set my Tavily API key here and then I will clear the screen. I have set my Tavily API key. Let's install all the prerequisites, which include Langchain and then few other stuff. So let's wait for it to get installed. It uh, will take around a minute or so. Okay, so that took around a minute, but it is all done. Let's clear the screen. And then let's fire up my Python interpreter. And let's import all of the libraries which we have just downloaded. Let me press enter. Everything is imported now. That is good. And now let's specify our local model. Now, interesting bit here is if you look at this command, I'm using OpenAI's compatible format. And though Langchain and Langgraph provides us uh, an OLAMA compatible, but for some weird reason that doesn't work here. 
so that is why after much uh, has like i was able to found this so if you're looking to use olama with lang graph this is what you need to use so for api key just specify olama model mistral if you have downloaded llama 3 you can put your own model name here and then because olama is running on this port on local host so that is why i have given it this if your olama server is running remotely just put your ip address and then your port whatever port you are using here let's specify our tavily as a tool because we'll be doing web search with it and then let's bind that tool with our llm you see so i'm just llm is this llm and i'm binding it with these tools so now this is the tool which i am llm is going to use let's also get a pretty prompt from hugging face it's just uh, pretty prompt you can use your own prompt if you like but i'm just using it from the hugging face and now let's create an ai agent with the help of lang graph so this command create react agent it is uh, we are using our llm with tools which we have defined above our tools and messages with the prompt that is done and now let's invoke this tool and i'm going to just ask a question here I'll just press enter a few times the question i'm asking it what is oracle database you can search anything of your choice this is going to take a few seconds because it is running on my local system so let's wait for it to come back shouldn't take too long it has returned eventually and then let's print the response back there you go so it has given us a properly formatted response that this is oracle database and all that stuff so this is how you create an agent with this lang graph now you can as i mentioned earlier you can create different agents you can create different tools tool is simply a function so here we are just using that tavily search you can define your own functions your custom functions as per your own business logic and then from there you can use those functions as a tool within this lang graph or lang chain uh, now the thing with lang chain is that it is pretty comprehensive it is not small so it's really not possible to cover everything or most of the things in this video so i'll be doing more videos around this in the future so stay tuned make sure to subscribe to the channel so uh, try it out and don't worry about the code i will put the whole code which i have used in my blog and i will drop the link to that blog in video's description that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching